by foot, by bike, by car. Stanley Park is a peach of a visit on a nice day. Just being able to step outside, I think, is a really big luxury that we should be really, really grateful for here. Especially as we try to get some air amid COVID-19 restrictions. But drivers, you will need to switch to this or this the next time you visit the forest or the beaches. Stanley Park will be made car free. Except for first responders, the 19 trolley bus, park board and city staff and a few other groups, vehicles are now banned. Checkpoints will be up. The causeway will stay open. When they come with cars, so then it, it's possible that they are more than three, four, five. So the less people, the better. So-called park board champions are already out encouraging people to keep six feet apart. Beyond drivers, though, the park board wants other park users to adjust as well. We're asking cyclists at this point to stay off the seawall and use the interior roadways, which are now be free of vehicle traffic. Moving cyclists off the seawall to free up much needed space for pedestrians and for joggers. And those keen on keeping their fitness on foot have a role to play too. We're finding that sometimes joggers and runners are making it difficult for pedestrians, particularly the elderly and those with physical disabilities or perhaps even a dog. Run at different times. If you're coming up upon a, a group of pedestrians, please go around them, give them a wide berth. Park board staff has handed out 1,600 warnings to people who aren't staying far enough apart. I'm assuming that everyone has a positive intent and are doing their best to keep everyone safe. And it doesn't plan to close parks. But we will always take our lead from our, our health authorities. For now, you're asked to give others space in these thousand acres. Dan Burrett, CBC News, Vancouver.